Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Sunday, March 12th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with an update on Rey Mysterio's upcoming WWE Hall of Fame induction. Fellow Lucha Libre legend Conan has been chosen to induct Mysterio into the Hall of Fame on March 31st at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. That's according to a report in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Mysterio reportedly requested Conan for the role himself. The two men started their wrestling careers within months of each other and have a long history together in the wrestling business, having shared the ring in AAA, ECW, and WCW. Conan also recently presented Mysterio with the Lucha Award at the most recent Cauliflower Alley Club reunion last September. In health-related news, Jerry Lawler returned to his home in Memphis on Friday morning, according to a report yesterday from PW Insider. Lawler had been doing outpatient rehabilitation at his home in Florida after suffering a massive stroke on February 6th that left him with speech and cognitive skill deficiencies. Lawler had been released from the hospital days after the stroke to begin rehab, but had not been back to his primary home in Memphis since before the incident. His last WWE appearance was on the pre-show for the Royal Rumble back in January. Although not yet fully recovered, doctors deemed that Lawler's recovery had progressed far enough for him to return home. He is still expected to make a full recovery. In NXT news, Dragon Lee made his in-ring debut for the brand last night at an NXT house show in St. Petersburg, Florida, taking on fellow New Japan Pro Wrestling veteran Eddie Thorpe, previously known as Carl Fredericks. The result of the match was not yet available as of this recording. Lee first signed with WWE's developmental brand back in December, but visa issues delayed his arrival to the United States, which didn't occur until last week. Lee was introduced to the live audience last Tuesday during the Roadblock episode of NXT at the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. In legal news, Game Changer Wrestling is opposing AEW's trademark for its first video game entitled Fight Forever, citing a previous GCW event in 2021 with the same name. GCW initially filed to oppose the trademark on March 1st and now has been granted a 90-day extension by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to investigate the claim, confer with legal counsel, and issue a more formal opposition claim. GCW presented its Fight Forever event in January 2021, 14 months before AEW filed for its Fight Forever trademark for its video game. However, GCW did not file to trademark the name of its event until July of 2022, four months after AEW had filed. The application for the extension reportedly indicates that GCW is in settlement talks with AEW over the issue, although GCW owner Brett Lauderdale stated publicly on Twitter that he would not be seeking financial compensation from Tony Khan. Turning to Japan, New Japan Pro Wrestling ran today at the Bunka Convention Center event hall in Shiga, featuring two second-round matches in the New Japan Cup tournament. The main event saw one half of the IWGP World Tag Team Champions Hiroki Goto advance with a win over the Aussie Open's Kyle Fletcher. The other featured never open way champion Tama Tonga knocking off Aaron Hanare of the United Empire faction. Goto and Tonga now move on to the quarterfinals where they'll face off against each other on March 18th in Shizuoka. The tournament continues on Monday with two more second round matchups, Jeff Cobb against Evil and Will Ospreay against fellow United Empire member Mark Davis. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, You can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, For daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.